The deeper the journey into inner space, the further the possibilities in outer space. It's a belief that developing and testing a rocket is literally hard. And when you want to build a completely reusable rocket, it becomes more difficult. It's as complicated as rocket science. Pun intended. Elon Musk is someone who aims to make the world's most powerful rocket. The Starship for an extraordinary mission. You can say that it is a mission in which he gave it his all. The lower stage of the rocket is super heavy, which during all its development has never had an orbital fight. However, finally, they decided to launch the SpaceX after making critical changes to Super Heavy. If all goes according to plan, SpaceX's massive Starship rocket for eventual flights to the Moon and Mars might reach orbit for the first time in only two months. This is something that we have been waiting for years, and now it's so near. SpaceX is developing a Starship to take people and cargo to the Moon, Mars, and beyond. If it goes right, it can even take humans to Mars. It feels quite unreal if we think about it hard. The vehicle is made up of two parts. A super heavy first stage rocket and a Starship upper stage spaceship. Both the super heavy and the Starship are meant to be fully and quickly reusable. And both are powered by SpaceX's new Raptor engine. 33 for the super heavy and 6 for the Starship. Building so many engines is difficult but SpaceX expects to have enough for the first Starship orbital test mission soon. According to the scientist, we should have 39 flight-worthy engines produced by next month, then another month to combine them, so we should be able to test orbital flight in May. Target is also contingent on the prompt completion of an environmental study of Starship launch operations at Starbase, SpaceX's facility in South Texas, by the U.S. Federal Aviation Administration or FAA. SpaceX has already conducted a handful of Starship test launches. Nonetheless, those involved prototype upper-stage vehicles with a maximum of three Raptor engines that flew at the height of around 6.2 miles. The upcoming orbital test flight will be the first time a Super Heavy and a six-engine Starship have taken to the skies. Shortly after liftoff, the Super Heavy rocket will splash down in the Gulf of Mexico. If all goes as they have planned, the Starship's upper stage will rocket its way into orbit, circular planet once, and splash down in the Pacific Ocean near the Hawaiian island of Kauai. I think it's possible for ordinary people to choose to be extraordinary, said Elon Musk. So the gist of all this is, finally, Elon Musk and the team NASA have decided to launch SpaceX.